Every year, three and a half million children under the age of five die because of malnutrition. The problems are not only linked to simple lack of food, but also poor diet without the vitamins and minerals needed to preserve health. In the first part of a series looking at solutions to this problem, we went to South Africa, which is widely considered the gold standard for food fortification. Dawn over Soweto. Another morning in the South African township. People go to work, children prepare for school. And most of them had breakfast enriched with vitamins and minerals, like the Tunzi family. Fifty-seven-year-old matriarch Fikili serves fortified food to her household of three children and four grandchildren. She has witnessed the changes in health firsthand over the years. Our children are, are, are stronger now, they're intelligent, they, no, they, there's no my sicknesses like before. Following studies showing that one in four children was chronically malnourished and only a quarter of households had food security, South Africa established food fortification regulations in 2003, specifically targeting low-income families like the Tunzis here in Soweto. One of the results, a 30% decrease in birth defects. Such as spina bifida and other severe forms of neural tube defects. The lack of adequate vitamins and minerals is a hidden hunger with lasting economic repercussions, not only impacting the young. South Africa has also got a huge HIV and TB epidemic. And having infection with those diseases eats up your nutrients in your body. So the fortification program we can say is at least helping to replace those lost nutrients. The only way we can truly get to the core of hidden hunger is around partnerships. Public, private, development agencies, governments, the business sector, all coming together with a commitment that goes beyond words. And this is what happened in South Africa. The collaboration worked on all levels, from political leaders to the millers, who are mixing the right balance of micronutrients into wheat flour and maize meal, South Africa's staple food. You are getting most nutrients from a single food that you find in more than 90% of households in South Africa. So, so, so that for me is, is a major contribution that uh, fortification could have made to South Africans. The addition of the fortificant has had a positive impact. And uh, I, I think from that point of view, um, the milling industry will benefit as well because we've got healthy consumers out there that will um, use more of our products. Another vital player, the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition or GAIN, which is implementing action plans based on partnerships to tackle malnutrition around the world. Operational in 28 countries, it has already reached nearly 200 million people. The goal, 1.7 billion. Part of the innovation of GAIN is building these partnerships at a grassroots level. These are at a very practical level, on the ground, how do we reach the poorest of the poor, and what's the innovation that we can unlock through a smart partnership. GAIN has its work cut out. Malnutrition affects two billion people around the world. The situation has been compounded by the food and financial crises, driving more than 100 million additional people into poverty, according to the World Bank. The government cannot fund the private sector. The government cannot fund the small millers. Somebody else has to do that. I think that's when GAIN then came to fill in that gap, where the government couldn't reach. I think GAIN has went to UNICEF to reach those that are not reachable. I think that is what has been uh, essential and uh, really catalytic in all this initiative. The challenge now? replicating the success across the continent. This is a model that should be rolled out and fast-tracked in a lot of countries, in all the countries, because as we know, vitamin and mineral deficiencies in Africa are huge, really, really big. It's one of the biggest problems. Costing only pennies per person, food fortification has proven a low-cost, effective and sustainable solution reaching the poorest and most vulnerable in various parts of the world. It's about a long-term investment 
in the health of your nation. And the most important part of a competitiveness of a nation is its ability to build knowledge and people who are educated and competitive in a globally competitive environment. Opening up a world of opportunities for future generations.